Welcome to Catholic Reflections. I am your host, Maria. I am a teacher of first graders at my church. And I am so happy to share my voice, my insights with you, just in case the way I describe things helps you in your life in any way. Today, I'm going to be talking about what the Eucharist is in my own unique way. Please know that this is the way I think about it. Everybody is different, but my main message is compassion, tolerance for all ways of thinking. I love sharing my voice out here and my photography. I hope you enjoy this episode. Let me know. Thanks for trusting me with your time and pushing the play button on this particular video. Have a good day. Here we go. Right now, I wanted to speak about what the Eucharist means to me and how I explain it to kids at church that I teach, but also to other adults in life who are not Catholic, who are not Christian, who may not understand what the heck that little piece of bread is that's passed out at church. There are so many different kinds of Christian also, by the way, that when I go ahead and I speak about this topic, I want anyone who is listening, if you have a different way that you think about it and you explain it to your kids or to your friends or your spouse, go ahead and give me a message in and let me know. And there is no judgment. There's no comparison. It doesn't matter who's right. All that matters is that this is what I believe. That's the only thing that matters to me. And if the way I explain it helps people, yay, I am so blessed. My husband, by the way, is not Catholic. He is Methodist. And so he is familiar with the host with the Eucharist, but in the Methodist church, they don't partake in it very often. And I won't go into what the Methodist way of thinking of it is, but I'm only going to speak about what it is for me. And I'm telling you what, I used to laugh when I was in high school. Kids would make fun of me or, you know, it's blood you're eating. Is it, is it cannibalism? <laughs> It is not a cup of blood, of thick red blood like a vampire that we're drinking. But there is a transformation that happens at Mass. The community, the power of the priest, the power of God and the Holy Spirit does change the energy. And you know that I'm talking about energy on my station all of the time. But this, the Eucharist, the way I think about it is, it is energy. And if you've been listening to, it for a while, to me for a while, you know I speak about energy of our ancestors. I can feel the love of my dad. I can feel the love of my grandparents. They are still with me. The body and blood of Christ in the Eucharist at Mass is the soul, the energy of Jesus. That energy is transmitted into that bread and wine at Mass. It's drawn to those items in the celebration of the Mass. And when we consume that bread and wine, we are consuming the energy of Jesus. And I truly believe that time is irrelevant when we are talking about history, when we're talking about that connection with our ancestors, when we are talking about 
Jesus on the cross. I believe that he is here now. I believe that he was speaking to me. Me, Maria, in his lifetime. His energy, he knew, would survive Eternal life is true, whether we call it that or not. So the body and blood of Christ, the way I describe it to my husband and to those kids at church and to friends of mine that are not Catholic, is that that is the energy of Christ And we are consuming it into our own soul. There is no grace or beauty in trying to tear down anybody else's belief. There is no debate. Focus on what you believe and become strong in that conviction. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Please feel free to subscribe to this Catholic Reflections channel. If you like, go ahead and share with friends. Turn on your notifications if you'd like to view future videos that I may be creating out here. It is Lent right now, so I thought the timing was kind of perfect for releasing this particular video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank the Carmelite novitiates for sharing their beautiful voices for the background music here. If you'll notice, I've attached a link on this video to donate money to the Sacred Heart Retreat House in Alhambra, Los Angeles. If you would like to help them out, they are so beautiful so caring and gives so much to the world. I offer you this opportunity to make a donation during this Lenten season. God bless you always.